Welcome back. You are watching We On World as One. Thank you very much for staying with us. I'm Eric Njoka. Let's begin this broadcast with the headlines. West Asia continues to simmer day after explosions in Iran, massive blast rocks, a military base at Khalsa south of Iraqi capital Baghdad late on Friday. As per the country's army, U.S. Central Command rejects blame for the blasts. Reports on the blasts in Iran on Friday morning say Israel had fired three missiles in a limited strike on Iran. Officials say drones were also used. The U.S. House of Representatives advances a $95 billion legislative package providing aid to Ukraine, Israel and the Indo-Pacific. The bill now moves to the Senate for a vote on Saturday. Twelve jurors and six alternates selected to form the final jury in the trial of former U.S. President Donald Trump in the Hush Money case. First hearing on Monday, 22nd of April, outside the court, a man who set himself on fire is said to be critical. The U.S. imposes sanctions on four firms supplying missile components for Pakistan ballistic missile program. Three of the companies are Chinese, one is a Belarus-based firm. Media reports say Apple has removed WhatsApp and threads from its app store in China. This is after the country's internet watchdog issued orders citing national security concerns. North Korea's state news agency says the country has conducted a cruise missile warhead test and a trial launch of its new anti-aircraft missile in the West Sea of Korea. For all the latest news, download the Wii on app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.